it's cool here. Oh, I'll put my hat away for a while. It's funny, I've been eating picnic, drinking the water in my bag still. It's, oh, it's really heavy, it's weird. It's like I've got a big stone in there. It's because I've eaten cheese. What's happened? I've had cheese. It always gives me indigestion, unfortunately. It'll be alright, it'll wear off. I do like me cheese and tomato when I'm out there. I think I'm worrying a bit about getting back and... That's what I hate about not having my own vehicle. When you've got your own vehicle, you don't have to think about getting back. Or being, I mean, to pace yourself to get so you don't miss a bus, or whether you will be let on the bus. You can just walk and get back when you feel like it. That's the only thing I miss. Don't miss the cost of keeping a vehicle. I don't feel as if I'm not. It gives you that bit more freedom. It's true, of course it does. But I am making most of the buses and the trains bike and my foot so that I can get out you know I want to get out coming up to the pink house again everyone anyone who watches my videos will know about the pink house the round wooden house and the stream. So I'm turning off now. Right, small recording. I'm going up the, by the stream. Now the last time I came here, say three weeks ago, it could have been less, it could have been more, but not more than a month. Um, this base was teeming with people really, um, families. Um, this, I couldn't video at all. Hardly at all, but I did capture on video a deer. I stood still and let me video, and then I, of course I thought, oh, you know, you swap about between video and photo, and then you lose either one or the other. But he jumped down further up. I know I've got to speed up in a minute. Once I get up that hill, I've really got to pile on the pressure to get back. Um, I know I have. No sun penetration. I've got a good picture a minute ago. As I was coming in, the sun was really bright. I'm not going to video long because I'll tell you why I done it. Although it wasn't, it was very broken when I came before because of people. Um, it's still been videoed, if you know what I mean. So the worst thing now is the deer was to come down and I didn't have it on video. See, that would be a shame because you can't just swap that quickly, you see. I'll try and be quiet so I don't disturb them. Right, over and out, just a short video. Right, I've just emerged from Roeberry Warren and I've just picked up the Bamwell Hill Fort there, look. You can hear the works of the Pinkley Point people resounding up through the valley there. There's um, Steep Home Island, Bamwell Hill Fort, Flat Home. There's a big ship in the Bristol Channel. <sighs> so please, I, that's either. Um, I'll see you in a minute if that could be that could be Bamwell Hill, that one, <sighs> and the other one could be. Um, sure yet so we get down a bit further <sighs> no. we 
I might catch another gate in a minute and you can see again. Yeah, because where's Banwell Hill then? Could be further over. Wait a minute. Go and have a look over that gate there. Yeah, that might be Banwell Hill. That we're seeing all the time. Could be Bamwell Hill. See if you can see the castle. Yeah, there's the castle, that. Well, I'm not sure if that is a castle. Not sure. See, there's a wood there. Very confusing, isn't it? Very confusing. It might not be because it's too far over. That could be Banwell Hill. You might start seeing some. Oh yes. Right, there's the big tree and the plateau. Clearly seen from here, look. And the one that's looking like the dome, I think could actually be Banwell Hill. That's because this. It's funny how your eyes can be deceived. Cause that's, that's also got a field leading up to it, you see. See that? That's also got a field. It's looking more flat like a pancake now. And the other one's looking more dome shaped. It's weird, isn't it? Let me take a picture over now. Right everyone, I've got to uh, ship them. Look, here's a perfect view now of the actual hill fort. And it's not the one I've been thinking it, it was. Here we have the big tree and the plateau. Right, here we go. But if you go along, go along a bit. All right, then you come to a dip. There's the castle area, or the waterworks, or whatever it is. Go up. There's Barnwell Hill, Caves, and Tower End. Now, that's the one I've been looking at, thinking that dome cone-shaped was the one with the hill foot on. I reckon they're all connected, but look, that one's much flatter, like a pancake. See? Go from a distance. I've been thinking it's that one. It's that one. So I didn't concentrate on that one. I don't think I could see that one very well because it's so flat. I'll have to scrutinise the photos when I get back. So I'm out here in an old bumpy mump, bumpy, bumpy mumpy area. It's got a special name for these mumps and bumps. Um... <sighs> Humps and bumps and whatever. It's the old, uh, where they used to scoop out the soil looking for the, whatever they were looking for, lead or there was something else they used to look for. Um, Got to go through this field, pick up the lane. So it was worth me coming this way just to really confirm. Because I've been thinking that the bigger hill which is actually Banwell Hill, which I still reckon was a part of the hill fort. Because um, Whirlbury Hill Fort is split. But Banwell Hill looks more like a fort than the flatter Banwell Hill Fort, which is 
with the pato. <sighs> that there is Samford, which I walked through earlier. We're going to get really another good view in a minute. Right, see that? That is Banwell Hill, not the hill fort. That cone looking thing. You've got, I couldn't really tell properly from um, Robrow Hill Fort. Now you go along, it all makes sense because I've walked all this lots recently. Go along a bit. And there we have it. Perfect view of the big trees on the plateau. But of course, it's much flatter. It's much shorter in height. Do you know what I mean? Look at it, it's much flatter than that. But by, by looking at that, we know that one's close. Over and out. Right, I'm just going over there. There's Roeborrow and Dalbury Warren Hill Fort, which I was on earlier. I stood right on the top of that hill fort there. I walked up all along. On a bit of the ramparts the other side, then down. Then I went into like a basin area. Eventually I got into Dalbury Warren Woods and Robear Warren Woods along the stream. But that is Robo Hill Fort. Right, that I was on earlier. And I was taking lots of photos. But I couldn't, because there's a um, Samford Woods and mound obscured the actual Banwell Hill Fort which that is classed as a hill fort with those trees it are that is classed as the hill so I'm glad I came this way because that's um, solved a few problems big ones